Metabolic diseases like obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disorders are exploding. Unhealthy diets and obesity are contributing to the increase in dementia and cancer. Can products like Huel save the day? In today's world, everyone is in a hurry, with no time to buy, prepare, and cook healthy food. People often resort towards ready-made and unhealthy junk food optimized for taste over nutrition and containing high calories and unhealthy processed fats. This is contributing to diseases like diabetes, hypertension, and obesity. The two most effective ways to prevent these diseases are dietary intervention with lower calorie, healthy foods, and exercise. However, people often find it challenging to reduce calorie intake, or find nutrient-dense foods that are rich in micronutrients and low in calories. Diet's really complicated. It's not just about reducing calories. For some people, the goal is not to reduce calories, but to improve nutrient intake, like having more protein or vitamins. You also have to consider dietary choices. For example, vegans may struggle to design a sustainable, nutritious diet with enough protein if they have less choice at the supermarket. Enter meal replacements. What are meal replacements, and why do people use them? Meal replacement products like Huel or Octavia, and many others, are designed to either supplement meals or replace meals. You can think of them as essentially food supplements created to meet specific needs. For example, some meal replacement plans are designed for weight loss or diabetes, while others are focused on muscle gain. Others are focused on completely replacing meals for convenience. Most meal replacement plans, even if they're designed for different needs, have some common features. These products are typically low in carbs and fats, which are easily available through the rest of your diet, and instead have dietary components that are more challenging to obtain through your diet. Therefore, most meal replacements offer some kind of protein shake. These meals are then fortified with micronutrients, like vitamins and minerals, as well as fibre. In practice, they typically consist of ingredients like whey protein, plant-based proteins, natural dietary fibre, nuts and seeds with added vitamins. Most of these products are low in calories and have a low glycemic index, meaning they don't spike your blood sugar levels. However, by focusing on protein and fibre, they're designed to make you feel fuller and less hungry, and boost metabolism, build lean muscle mass, regulate gut function, and eliminate nutritional deficiencies. But are they effective? Most meal replacement plans are effective, but it depends on what you're trying to achieve. Let's simplify this to weight loss, losing fat, and weight gain, thinking of muscle mass. Meal replacement plans for weight loss and diabetes focus on having fewer calories and making you feel full. This means more protein and fewer carbs or fats. A meta-analysis of six studies using a partial meal replacement for weight loss found that they produced outstanding and sustainable weight loss results compared to simple, calorie-reduced diets. It's likely that this is due to having a structured weight loss plan, which makes it easier to comply, while teaching healthy portion sizes and being more palatable than the very low-calorie diets. In contrast, meal plans for building muscles tend to be more balanced, as building muscle mass also requires lots of calories to cover the energy demands of regular exercise and muscle building. If you're using meal replacements or supplements to build muscle mass, then the good news is yes, they're effective. However, their benefit has more to do with being a convenient way to add calories, and especially protein, to the diet. This is because the major trigger for muscle gain is resistance training. You could just add more healthy food to your plate and achieve the same thing. However, if it's easier for you to use a meal replacement or supplement, go ahead. If you're weight training, using a meal supplement out of convenience can still help you to improve your body composition, build muscle and reduce body fat. Therefore, studies seem to suggest that the benefits of meal replacement or supplement plans is based on their convenience. This is supported by them having more compliance than conventional diet plans. Are they healthy and safe? The downsides of meal replacements. These products do not require regulator approval, like from the US FDA for medical products, or lab certification. This means it's up to you to be careful considering a meal replacement product. The short term. Since most meal replacement plans only partially replace the meals, they appear relatively safe in the short and mid-term. Studies show that they contain many vital nutrients and may help prevent malnutrition while promoting weight loss and lean mass gain. In addition, these diets are generally well tolerated. However, some people do experience gas and digestive problems when they try meal replacement products like Huel. The long term. However, you need to be careful with prolonged use of these products, especially if you're using them to completely replace meals. Unfortunately, there are no long-term safety studies about their use due to the industry's lack of interest in carrying out these studies. Nevertheless, there's a reason to believe that these meal replacement plans' prolonged use may have some unforeseen side effects. These meal plans are rich in macro and known micronutrients. However, they lack dietary fiber and many known bioactive phytocompounds. These are plant chemicals that contribute to human health. For example, some have antioxidant properties while others have antimicrobial effects. These phytocompounds, like terpenes, carotenes, flavonoids, phenolic compounds, and alkaloids, help prevent various disorders and help protect the body from chronic ailments, like cancer, cardiovascular problems, dementia, and much more. Similarly, they have a poor fatty acid profile. Now, while reducing fats are an easy way to reduce calories and lose weight, 
you have to remember that fats are a vital macronutrient. Your body can't make them if it doesn't get enough. Fatty acids play a vital role in gut and brain health, and they're important structural components in all cells in your body. Therefore, long-term meal replacements may cause issues through nutritional deficiency, interfering with the critical role that fatty acids play in maintaining optimal health. Meal replacements also don't replace the so-called food matrix effect, where the health benefits and drawbacks of a food are much more complex than the presence of a single nutrient or a few nutrients. The health effects of food depend on its overall structure and nutrient composition, and how the nutrients interact with each other. For example, yogurt and cheese are both fermented dairy products, including vitamins, proteins, and fatty acids. However, yogurt has a gel-like to liquid matrix, while cheese is a solid matrix. The complex assembly of nutrients interacting physically and chemically changes the way that the nutrients are released, digested, and absorbed, and also has effects on your gut microbiome. Furthermore, some of those bioactive phytocompounds I mentioned earlier can be released from the food matrix in different parts of your digestive tract to be fermented by gut microbes that transform them into beneficial metabolites that you absorb. Structured dairy products like yogurt and cheese make you feel fuller, more satiated than liquid milk. At the same time, processing some foods like fruits can make their phytocompounds easier to absorb. All of this makes it hard to say how the food matrix effect affects the nutrients in meal replacement products. In short, if you're planning to use meal replacements long term, you must make sure that you get all the nutrients you need from the rest of your diet, which should be balanced around healthy, whole foods, or you run the risk of deficiencies and other ailments. Your body can't rely on a single source of nutrition, products like Huel, for a long period of time. The medical pros and cons. There is firm scientific evidence that meal replacement plans can work for weight loss, diabetes, boosting metabolic health, and building muscles. The evidence comes from the clinical investigations and experience of millions of people. Convenience appears to be the biggest factor in their success. For weight loss, meal replacement plans are convenient and often tasty, resulting in higher compliance than for traditional diet plans that are more challenging to learn and maintain. Likewise, for muscle gain, Meal replacement plans are a convenient way to increase proteins and calories, but you have to combine it with that resistance exercise routine as well. When it comes to the cons, they're poorly understood. These products are unlikely to harm in the short or mid-term. However, their long-term use may cause deficiencies, as these are ultra-processed foods that lack many known and unknown nutrients, like phytocompounds, important to preventing disease. Furthermore, replacing whole foods with these processed meal replacements changes the nutritional value of the ingredients in a way that we don't fully understand yet. To conclude, meal replacement products are a convenient way to boost your health goals, but recognize that they can't cover everything you need, and include them as part of a nutritionally rich, balanced diet. If you're interested in learning more about health, nutrition, biology, and medicine, click like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. Leave a comment to say what you'd like to see next. Sources and further reading are available in the video description. See you in the next video!